Today's Asia adventure vlog is brought to you by CruiseLine.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real, everyday cruisers. It's Osaka day, we're so excited. We are going to meet our guide, Mo, and she's going to be taking us to Kyoto for the day. We booked a private 10 hour tour. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold. to Kyoto. Mo is showing us the way and without her we would be totally lost. Fushimi 
how do you make a wish for your business? So you throw the coin, ring the bell, bow twice, clap twice, make your wish, and bow once. So that's what hubby is doing somewhere back there right now. Where are you? Oh, no, you're over here. Did you already make your wish for our business? Say hi to Mo. Hi, Mo. Hey. <laughs> Fushimi Nari, it's so beautiful but so crowded. Before we came in, we had to do the cleansing ritual. Mo taught us how to do it. It was very cool but a little bit confusing. I think we figured it out. And then we walked up through some of the Tori gates and now we have just stepped off to the side to this kind of calm, beautiful little area and we're gonna go back and hit the path. going to have some ramen. This is how you make a wish. Let's see if I can remember this. So you throw the money, throw the coin, ring the bell, two bows, two claps, make a wish, 
and then one bow. I got it, finally! <laughs> After our what, our third try and our second try. Let's do this. that if you tickle ugly baby's feet, you get good luck. So, tickle, 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 tickle. Yeah, Lots of good luck. Where are we, Mo? What is this? It's called Shinsekai. Shinsekai. Downtown. We're in Shinsekai downtown in area. New world. New world? <laughs> Very good. Say hello to everybody. Hello. <laughs> so cool. Takoyaki. Right here. Omo rice. What is it called? For ten people. For ten people. Omo rice for ten people. wonderful hours with this lady, Mo, who's a fantastic guide. We so enjoyed meeting you. Thank you so much for everything that you've done. We saw all the best sights of Osaka and Kyoto today in a very short time. And we're going to miss this girl. She's always welcome to come see us in the U.S. So I know. Until next time, Mo. Good job. That was perfect. It's just after 7 p.m. and we're back on the ship here in Osaka. 
Junior wanted to stop by the kids center briefly before our 7.45 dinner time. We got a little bit tired earlier than we expected today in Osaka. We had a really long day. We met Mo this morning at 9.30 and our tour was scheduled until about 7.30, but we decided to cut it short by about one hour just because we were exhausted and felt like we really wanted to just kind of get back on board and relax, but it was amazing. Uh, a little bit colder than we expected, but we had the perfect clothing. Everything was great, but our son has a cute little Rudolph nose tonight. Poor little thing. He was chilly all day, but we had a blast. There was no rain. It was just a nice dry cold. I guess it was kind of unseasonable. Anyway, super interesting process. When you're getting back on the ship in Japan, you actually have to go through a customs process. And today we also had to surrender our passports for our entry into Hong Kong. And also, I believe, to start the visa process for our visit to Vietnam. This is really strange walking through customs and um, handing our passports over to the authorities. But they were really, really well organized. The line was less than five minutes long and we got it done amazing day in Osaka. Can't believe we're already leaving Japan after three days. This has been just such an incredible family experience for us and we're definitely in love with the Japanese people and culture and we can't wait to come back and spend a little bit more time here. So we are off to get cleaned up, pick up Junior from the Kids Center, and go enjoy dinner in the main dining room with our awesome staff. Today might just go down in history as one of the longest days we have ever had on a cruise but it was so good it was so satisfying I don't know how we would have done Osaka and Kyoto without our guide Mo today just navigating the train stations is pretty crazy I think we probably could have done it but it was definitely more relaxing and enjoyable to do it with a guide so if you're ever ever looking to travel to Osaka or Kyoto or many of the cities in Japan, we do recommend Triple Lights. Triple Lights is the website that we used to book this tour today and it was totally worth it. But I want to give a huge shout out and virtual hug to all of the subscribers that we have met so far on this cruise. I've written their names down. I think I have them all memorized, but I just wanna make sure I don't mess up where they're from. So the first people that we met on the cruise were Andrew and Elliot from Sydney who got our son this sweet little koala bear. They knew that we were gonna be on the ship and this was just a really sweet treat to meet them at breakfast. And next we met Mimi and Mira from Brisbane. So nice to see them up at the buffet as well. And then today, it was so awesome to meet Bob and Helen from Taiwan on the train from Osaka. That was really cool and fun. And then last but not certainly not least, tonight at dinner we got to meet Marie from Vancouver. And there's just something really special and amazing about being this far from home, but meeting all these familiar faces and being able to give hugs to all of our subscribers. So that is how I want to end tonight's vlog. It's just with so much gratitude for the people who've come up and said hello to us on board the Diamond Princess. It's been a really, really special day. If the cruise were to end after these three days, we would be so full and so happy. So for the next two days, we are having two much needed sea days. We do need some rest. The jet lag is really creating a hot mess of our sleep schedule. We really haven't been sleeping very well at all. So I'm hoping we can rest a little bit and have a really restful day tomorrow for Junior Editor's 10th birthday, which should be really, really special. So until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Good night.